And good morning, peeps. You know the routine. That's hashtag peeps, and that's going to trigger our giveaway. Good Tuesday morning. Let's let's get that rolling. Start collecting comments. I'm going to go over here and do the comments over here so we can have those coming up so you can watch them come up. Practice makes perfect, and I'm getting in a lot of practice right now. Well... Well, we're still in the introductory phases of everything. All right. See, there it goes. It says two. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to remove this. We're going to bring up our quote of the day, but first I'm going to bring up my comments and I'm going to turn that banner on because you know the routine. We are going to use that hashtag peeps as our giveaway. And that's what it looks like for me on uh, face uh, YouTube, and this is what it looks like on for what I'm live streaming on Facebook. And there we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's starting to starting to feel like you know what you're kind of doing here. The but the yeah, right when you think you know what you're going to do, they change things up again, right? So one of the one of the interesting things that that's been happening is they've come up with new layouts for. Um, StreamYard, they've come up with amazing things for EVMux too. So I'm going to be really diving in this summer to, uh, you know, and they keep, they keep getting better. So this is not a one and done. This is a constant iteration because the tools, they just keep getting uh, amazinger and amaz amazinger and amazinger. Um, let's, let's look at what we've got here as far as quotes today, though. Let's, let's check this out. I'm going to bring it a little bit bigger there so we can uh, we can look at Longfellow you know the interesting you know a Longfellow's considered old-fashioned right you know because uh, because of the type of uh, poetry that he wrote he was really contemporaries with uh, he pretty contemporary with um, Emily Dickinson and uh, uh, Walt Whitman but you know it's it's so interesting when you see uh, folks that are um, contemporaries uh, Longfellow had much more success in his lifetime. Uh, I would say Dickinson and uh, Walt Whitman had much more success after they were, uh, you know, posthumously. And they still feel fresh. So what the what the heck is going on there? I just, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because it's like rinse and repeat. Same thing with, we have Vincent van Gogh famously only sold two of his paintings and they were portraits and it was a commission that was done just as a charity case, right? Little did we know that he was going to be one of the most, uh, you know, his paintings would, would be sold uh, for the highest prices of any artist, right? Um, what is going on there? Because it's still going on, right? There are Van Goghs in our midst. There are Dickinsons in our midst. There are Walt Whitmans in our disc in our midst. All these people are there, and we're just passing them by. We're passing them by. Why? When they are the freshest voices, the freshest eyes, you know, they are the ships that pass in our night. That's for sure. So uh, one of the reasons why I I wanted this particular quote from Longfellow is. I, you know, it's my linguistics background. I have such a, a curiosity where our idioms come from. You know, when we have sayings that we say, we don't think about them. You know, just kind of like what I was saying before. There are so many elements to our lives that we just don't think about. It's on, We're on autopilot with it, right? Uh, and the ships that pass in the night, that whole metaphor, it's from... Uh, a Longfellow poem. I've got more of it in the description, so you might want to check that out. Plus uh, a link to uh, the entire huge poem, <laughs> massive poem, right? Uh, and that, that could probably be why we don't quote Longfellow quite so much as we, as we used to, because his idea of a poem was basically, you know, a short story, a novella. <laughs> it was, you know, um, who else was like that? It was, um, uh, 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 Lord Byron, George Gordon, Lord Byron. I got to bring him on here for something. His his Don Juan, and it's Don Juan, not Don Juan, because he rhymes it with Ewan, right? So it's 
<laughs> it's it's one of those things. But um, his his famous poem that most everybody mispronounces as uh, Don Juan is huge too. Canto after canto after canto after canto. <laughs> um, so and this one here is part of a larger piece, but it's a. Uh, uh, which is, again, a part of a larger piece, but here we go. Ships that pass on the night and speak each other in passing. Only a signal shown, a distant voice in the darkness. So the ocean of life we pass, we speak one another. Only a look, a voice, then darkness again, and a silence. And how appropriate. Not only is, um, is that idiom so common and we have no idea where it came from right it's that mysterious idiom that that speaks something of a really deep truth along with the metaphor of this whole stanza of the of the poem um and uh and yet that's exactly what we're talking about is there are things in our life that are so real and so vivid and we might connect with them for a little bit and then they pass and you think why why the heck you know why the heck if this is what life is about why aren't we better at uh grasping onto those moments and why aren't we better at recognizing those people in our lives and why aren't we better at uh you know developing those moments into something longer more um more than just a fleeting, fleeting chance that could have been, right? I, I got to read it one more time just because. Ships that pass in the night and speak each other in passing. Only a signal shown, a distant voice in the darkness. So on the ocean of life we pass and speak one another. Only a look, a voice, and then darkness again and a silence. I keep wanting to put two in there. <laughs> two, two, two. But I don't think that's in his original. That's I, I think I double checked that one. But it does it does feel like there's like there's like a tug. But maybe that's part of the the charm of the piece is that there's a charm because something's missing, right? There is that something missing. So I invite you guys today to um and we got allergy allergy season is is uh is uh, is upon us um and so i've got a little bit of a nose tickle and uh whatever it is nixie also has a nose tickle she sneezes every so often she never sneezes sneezes but she's been sneezing lately so i don't know if she's allergic to the aurora borealis which has been spectacular this whole spring uh and just magnificent the last couple nights so she's been waking me up like, am I seeing what's out there? Am I seeing this, you know, this craziness that is the Aurora Borealis, so bright and vivid and wonderful. Um, so she's making sure that uh, that ship doesn't pass in my night. Uh, nothing gets past the night, <laughs> the last two nights. And how about you guys? Have you noticed the Aurora? Have you noticed that... Um, that there are things in your life that you have just walked through and then realized later on at some uh, date in the future, uh, you know, sometime in the future, uh, future that, uh, that, oh my gosh, that was a moment. I wish I had savored that moment. I wish I had made more of a connection. Um, and uh, let us know in the comments because... This is interactive. I want to know what your experiences are. I don't want to just hear my own. Um, but thank you for sharing. And oh, you know, this is this started out as a uh, accountability for a writers group. Uh, so if you guys want to turn that into that, be be my guest. I'd love me some writers. Uh, if you want to take this time to brag about your word count in the comments, we'll celebrate along with you because you know you know what I want to do. I'm, I want to, and we're gonna, we're gonna bring back the, we're gonna bring back this because I need to end, I need to end with some confetti. <sighs> Have a blessed, blessed day, and we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>